life. Um, well, there's definitely highs and lows on the show, and you know, it all depends on. Um, and I hate to say this, like how you're edited to look that year. It really is. Like totally. last year, I really went through the whole season thinking, like, oh my god, you know, was I a little boring? Like, what? And and the next thing I know, I'm like the one in the midst of everything, and I'm like, wait a minute, what? Like, I was friendly with everybody. Like, what happened? So you just never know. But I would have to say that uh, season nine was probably my worst season ever. I was going through a lot of personal things in my life um, with my ex and my daughter, and it had just started. And um, that's when we went to Bali. Remember when I ran and threw my shoe at the producer and said, you'll yes. never see me again. Yeah, I really thought that I was done and over that season. I'm like, I'm never coming back. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, like, you really, truly thought about just quitting at times? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's many times. I would have to say probably the last three years, I was like, okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. You know, and, and it's just, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a drug. You know, they, they pay you a lot of money, and but I'm so happy now. I am. I, I felt like there you was are. a ton of bricks lifted off my shoulders. It just, the stress level was getting... Um, so bad on the show it really is like, i mean it really is like gold and handcuffs listen because like the first year you start it pretty much costs you money the first year with I hair made, and makeup i made seven thousand dollars my first year wow that's what i got paid the rest i probably spent more than that just on clothes and stuff but the show wow. was so, so different back then right i think it's like 60 now i think yeah yeah that's what i heard yeah that's that's what i've heard too yeah so, but 7,000, okay, well, that's even less. Yeah, and then I probably made 50,000 my next year. But then towards the end, it's like golden handcuffs and like as bad yeah. as it is, then you get yeah. a contract and you're like, you how really am I gonna- You really have to put your time in to really make money. And I, I see that, like, it's kind of like that with any job. But nowadays the girls start out with a lot much, you know, bigger chunk. So season nine was your low, any highs that stick out? Um, I don't know. I've had so many good years on the show. Um, I think the first, the second or third year, Eddie was on when, when he proposed to me. That was pretty amazing because we were done filming and we had planned on going to Bora Bora and he had paid for it. It was already done. And um, he had talked, he was talking to the producer and told him that he was going to propose. And they're like, oh my God, can we please film it? And, you know, normally on these things, if they travel with you, they pay for things. Right. And I guess he's like, well, okay, but, you know, just a day or so, that's it. So they did, they came out for two days, I think. And that was pretty amazing because back then the trips weren't that elaborate. Right. And to go to Bora Bora and to have a trip like that just with the two of us was pretty amazing. That's amazing. And you know what one of my, it's nothing against this person in particular, but you know what one of my Tamara highlights was? What? You, and I'm not, I don't always go low, but you throwing that drink in Gina's face. Oh my God. And I, it's, it's not that I don't like Gina or anything like that. Right, it's right, just, right, 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 right. That was classic Can I tell lives. you the backstory about yes. that? 